Well, good evening. Welcome to the 2017 Children's Christmas Program. And uh, we're just going to open with a word of prayer and uh, turn it over to the stars of the evening, all right? And uh, let's bow together in prayer, shall we? Father, thank you for this evening. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord, for each one of the boys and girls here tonight. We thank the Lord for the hard work of the leadership and the ladies that have been diligent and uh, planning and preparing and working on this program this evening. And I pray, Lord, that you'll help each of the children to do well. Help the message to come across, and may your blessing be upon our time together tonight. Thank you for the many friends, family, loved ones that are here tonight. Lord, I pray that you'll be pleased with the program this evening. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome, friends and family. We are so glad you have come this evening. We have practiced very hard and hope that you will enjoy our play. This is what Christmas is all, what is Christmas all about? Christmas is the time of giving. We give each other gifts in celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. Tonight in our play, we will present gifts that God gives us through Christmas. First, we have the gift of prophecy. The birth of Jesus Christ, the birth of Jesus was planned from the very beginning. Bethlehem was chosen as the birthplace.
This is the gift of a savior. Because Jesus was God's gift to us, Luke 2, 1 through 7 says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made with when Serenus was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his supposed wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished, that she should be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in a swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
Our next gift is the gift of joy. As people on earth rejoice over Jesus, angels rejoice as well. Luke 2, 8 through 14 say, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the, and the, angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were sore afraid, and the angel said unto them, And suddenly there was a host of heavenly angels praising God uh, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.
Our next gift is a gift of worship. Where is he that's born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east, for we have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him, and sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again, and I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and while the star which they saw in the east, went before them till it came and stood over to where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced in seemingly great joy. And the Bible coming to the house, they saw a young child, Mary's mother. They presented, they fell down and worshipped him. They presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Turned to Herod, and they departed in, in their own country another way. This gift shows us the importance to worship and give things to God. While we don't give gold, frankincense, and myrrh, other possessions are very valuable to God, such as our prayers, time, and tithe. We are even instructed to give our entire life and body to God. Romans 12, 1 says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by your, the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies and living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service.
are very important, but none is as precious as the gift of love as God gave us these gifts at the birth of Jesus. The greatest was given through his death and resurrection. We read in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Also in John 15, 13, Greater is a Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Jesus came that first Christmas morning to give himself as our supreme sacrifice, as proclaimed by John the Baptist, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. John one twenty nine. God gave his all in his gift of love through his Son. Please believe and accept his precious gift of love. Thank you all for coming and opening these gifts of Christmas with us tonight. Would you please join us and stand? Would you please stand and join us in singing "Joy to the World"? I want to thank you all so much for coming tonight and being here for this ones to, to do such a wonderful job. They all work so hard. Can you give them a round of applause? <laughs> and parents, I'd like to thank you too for making sure that they were here for practices. That, that was really important. So thank you so much. Um, I do have one person that I would really, really like to acknowledge tonight. Um, um, that is Felicia um, Perrick. She did an outstanding job with all the scenes, getting this play together, um, an excellent job. So I would like to, come on up, Felicia. I'd just like to honor you and thank you so much. Didn't she do a beautiful job?
else, right? Okay. By the way, yeah, all the scenes you see up here, all the scenery, Felicia did all of that. And uh, did a great job, didn't she? And, uh, appreciate so much all the hard work. And, uh, great job. Give them one more time of applause, would you? That was great. Whoa. There goes my iPad. It used to be anyway. All right. Well, I found out some of those kids can really sing. And uh, wow, that was great. I remember when I was listening to that several years ago, um, that was Abigail singing Barham. And now she sang one of the, and when the teen girl sang this morning, I think she sang a verse by herself, didn't she? And did a great job. So I'm showing them boys singing tonight. I think, boy, those are future choir members right there. And uh, those three kings, they did a great job and a uh, great job. So good job, ladies and, and children, did a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, listen, we've got about 10 minutes to try to get things ready for church, so we're going to take a 10-minute break, and uh, Lord willing, we'll start the service right around 6.30, okay? So you're dismissed till then. What? Wait a minute. They want to get the kids out first so they can get them out of their costume. Okay, you go ahead and go, gang.